Morning, everyone. I'm sure we've all been in front of uh, such a building where we drove to buy a product um, that we urgently needed, and then we realized that either the location isn't there anymore or the data is incorrect because the business failed to update it on um, Apple Maps or holiday opening hours weren't accurate on, on Google or Amazon. Um, Alexa couldn't give you the right information. And it's frustrating for us because we spend a lot of time we, uh, and, then, and we don't get it there. But it's really tough for the businesses because if they don't capture that, that, that customer that wants to spend money, um, they might, you know, that might make the difference between a good year where they break even or a bad year where they lose money and have to shut down. And ultimately, that might lead to a lot of closed door fronts. So we don't blame them because it's really tough to update your information across hundreds or thousands of locations across 120, 30, 40 different digital platforms globally. And we promise our customers that we really help them get everyone that is searching for a product or a service and their vicinity into the store and increase the revenue. Um, we help them on top of that to better engage with customers and potential customers as well to, to build loyal and repeat business. Uh, and we help with, with securing and protecting branding online, which is really important for any kind of brand this day. So the way we did this is build something that we call the Location Marketing Cloud. And we partner with 130 um, publishers out there like Google, Apple, Amazon, uh, Uber, Waze, you name it. Um, and we have the central cloud where everyone can store the location data and location campaigns. And then we push that out to all these platforms. We help with social campaigns, and reputation management. We do store locator, um, paid ads. Everything is software as a service. Um, everything is uh, fully controlled through us. Um, and since starting, we've come quite a way. By now, we have about 1,500 cus corporate customers globally. We help 700,000 businesses all around the world to really drive people into their locations. The team has grown from, from uh, three founders uh, to more than 240 talented people in six offices. And as Federico said, we were fortunate since um, um, registering for this event to raise 50 million this year, um, some money used to, to acquire one competitor in the space. Um, Customers that, that work with us and, and really uh, increase their, their margin, increase their profit at the local level, come from all kinds of verticals. It's McDonald's of this world, gas stations, insurance companies, uh, car manufacturers, telcos. We, we have B2B companies as well that want to have up-to-date data out there for their, for their drivers to find the facilities. There's some consulting companies to use it for recruiting so that, that candidates find their offices and to highlight the research they do. So it's really applicable across all verticals. And we work with a lot of resellers that sell to SMBs that we don't tackle directly. So those could be telcos, hosting companies, website builders, any kind of agency that has a lot of SMB relationship. The market is consolidating. There's globally just two players that have the means and the, and, and, and the, the, the skills to, to play in this game. One is in the US, the other one is Uber, all originally from Germany. Um, all the other players either have you know, very you know, focused geographies that they work in, or it's less automated, le less reliable, and we see that they're churning a lot of customers because um, they come to us. What, what I'm looking for today is, is not funding, um, but it's, it's really corporate partners uh, in the US, either that want to use our technology to, to drive business to their locations and increase revenue, or to, to resell the solution to their customers, like telcos uh, or hosting companies, and create a, a revenue stream that's um, pretty reliable, high margin, low churn, little maintenance required, um, and at the same time, advisors. We, we have five offices outside of the US, but now it's about you know, opening a couple of more offices in the US as well. We are in San Francisco, but we want to go by coastal potentially have offices in the center as well. Um, and where we are market lead outside of this country, we are the challenger within the country. So it's, it's something new for us, and to position ourselves as the challenge in this country is something that, that um, I'm interested in. Um, I think it's gonna be a market where you have you know, two, two players like the Apple and the Microsoft back in the days, and the SAP and the Oracle, and, and the Uber all and the X. So I'll be sitting over there. Um, thanks for your attention. Thank you so much.